All right, folks, hey, this is Cruising, and guess what? We're going ocean to ocean with Robbie Buell. Hey, Robbie, how you doing? Great, thank you. This Good to a, be here. This is a great program you've got here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Well, uh, originally there was an ocean to ocean race in 1909 where this Model T that's here won that race. And you got to remember, in 1909, horses were the first choice of everything. Yeah. And then when it came to cars, you had steam and electric, believe it or not, yeah. that were leading the way. So we just thought the storyline with Henry Ford and what the Model T represents right. is, hey, that's what put the Model T on the map by winning that race. Exactly. And that set the tone for the last hundred years of Ford Motor Company, and now they've come out with this all new electric Mustang. Uh -huh. So what a better way to take the ocean to ocean tour and as we said, reimagined it. And so right now we're driving two Mach-E's across the country and just telling the story of what that car can do and set the tone for the next hundred years for, for Ford and, and the future of electric. Without a shadow of a doubt. And the route you chose, is there any significance to that? Well, the original one started in New York and ended in Seattle. Okay. Uh, so we're doing that same thing. But, but we really kind of took a, a map where we went to Amelia Island, we went to the Mid-America show in Tulsa. Okay. So, and now we're in California, we're on the last leg finishing in Seattle. Uh -huh. um, so no, we, we didn't go the most road. We've done, you know, we've done 6,200 miles so far. So that oh. is not the direct route. Right, 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 but, right. But it's just been about getting the experience of, okay, everybody talks about, you know, the anxiety of charging, can this car do it? And so it's just, it's really just to, you know, tell that story the same way. When this Model T won, again, this was Henry's platform when he won this race to say, hey, this is an affordable car for everybody. It's yeah. reliable. Yeah. And that was his push. That's so, right. And you um, can go anywhere in it. Yeah. You, I mean, <laughs> you, you can go anywhere in it. But back then, you should see all the pictures of, of them pushing this out of mud, getting horses out of there. But but part of why they won that race, again, is the durability. And there was still back then, there was the beginning of the Ford dealer network. Right. So the more I read on this ocean to ocean story, it, it blows me away. Yeah. And uh, can you imagine being the two drivers? So Henry Ford met them in Seattle and it was the World's Fair. So that was part of the oh, reason for the race I was see. to end up in Seattle to promote the World's Fair. Sure, so that sure. was one of the functions of the race. Um, but can you imagine being the two drivers? It took 23 days, they get there and their boss, Henry Ford, shows up and says, oh, that was so awesome. And he's so excited that they won the race. He's like, hey, you know what? You guys are going to get back in this car and you're going to do a victory tour right now, working your way back to Detroit and Dearborn. No um, kidding. So I can just see those guys saying, uh, OK, uh, boss. OK, right? yeah, I mean, well, you know Henry yes, Ford. He was pretty yeah, hard he's up. Yeah, the boss. That's what he okay, did. So. I have to bring up one thing on this car. This right here, folks, OK, inside there are coil packs. Yes, it's not, a there, it's not your glove box. No, and there's a coil for each spark plug. Yes. Yeah. Goes away, and now what? All our cars today have coil coils to the, each individual spark plug. They still do, don't they? So okay. it's it's made a complete a complete circle. And this particular car, yeah, could you imagine? I mean, no top, no windshield. Oh. I mean, what was the no. top speed? 23, 24 no, miles? No. Well, I don't know what the average, but top speed of this is, it's it's close to 40. Can you get it up to yeah, 40? Yeah, it goes up to 40. But I would say they average about 30. and. Um, so this car, this car did the, that trip again uh, in 2009. So it did the, the 100th anniversary of it. So that wow. guy drove it. So this car truly has lots and lots of miles So now, on had, it. I noticed it did the Great American Race. Yep. Now, did you drive it at any of these I events? Didn't, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> that was another gentleman. And, and, and I just did some research uh, when we said, hey, you know, the Mach-E, we should, we should base this. This is a big idea yeah. to tell that story. Yeah. So then I just started doing some research and I called the gentleman that this car was. I said, told him what we were doing. And uh, I said, we'd, we'd love to have your car. And he was willing to part with it. And I'm like, well, I'm a taker. He sold it to you? Yeah, he did. Oh my uh, God. He'd had his fun with it. And I kind of told him what we were doing. And he's a big Model T collector. Yeah. And uh, the star, it just, you know, I think it was the timing of everything. Yeah. And he, and it wasn't that we were just going to take it and sit it. He liked the fact that we were telling the story with sure. it. Sure. So. I think it's phenomenal. Um, and so far now, you're, this is your L.A. stop, and now you're, yeah, we're, now you're heading to Washington. We are on our way, heading north here. So we'll do a, a quick stop through uh, San Fran. 
Well, you're um, going to go to Monterey, I think, first, aren't you? No, we're, we're, we are going to take this back to Pebble Beach. Oh, okay. In August, but we're going to go. This Ocean Ocean race is, or race, tour. <laughs> yeah, tour. It was a race. It was. Our, our reimagined tour journey is going to end uh, July 6th okay. in Seattle right. with some Seattle backdrop. Again, that's where the original race right. ended up there. And it was actually where the World's Fair is, is where University of Washington is. Uh -huh. um, so we'll probably try and capture some pictures yeah. there. Um, You're gonna have Mr. And then, Ford in, in Washington when you get there? Um, I mean, you know, it'd be a perfect, wouldn't that you be know, perfect? Uh, we did, I actually, I did talk to, to young Henry Ford. I said, I said, you should come out here for this. And he said, I would love to, but uh, he couldn't make he it. He couldn't make it, uh, but wouldn't that have been ironic, you yeah. know, to end up in the same place? And knowing him, he'd have turned around and said, okay, <laughs> yeah. get back in it and go back the other way to a yeah. victory lap. Um, but it's neat. I don't know if you've looked at the mock, the, the styling of the oh, mock. Yeah. I mean, you know, they, they being four did a great job mm -hmm. of styling and what that car represents. And, and they absolutely took a chance and disrupted the marketplace did with they what ever. they did. But you know what? It's, we're talking about it. It's not just a vanilla, no. you know, all electric no. car. They are making a statement and um, and this is only the first one, the GT. Yeah. You want to talk, I mean, if you had a chance to drive the GT? I have not. <laughs> Neither have um, I. Um, <laughs> but I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Yeah, oh, no, no. And if, if, you know, electrics, w whether it's the, the, the Mach E or any of the electrics, the performance of electric. It's ridiculous. It, you know, you get behind the wheel of the Mach E if, if you're like, oh boy, that's the fact that's a four door SUV, small yeah. SUV. Okay, I get that, but they still have the old one, but the performance of this yeah. is awesome. Let's go take a look at the car that actually yeah. did the trek. Uh, I'm surprised well, you're not doing the driving. I have to be at other races and other events. Are you racing <laughs> vintage? Um, no, I still just do some stuff in IndyCar, and we, we right. run a rally team. We have a teen driving school, so. Do you? Um, All right. So, so this is kind of ironic. because we see if it's open? Yeah. yeah. We can get That's the keys, okay. but. But, you know, it's, it's ironic that you got the map sort yep. of on the, on the vehicle. And, you know, we talked a little bit off air, but, you know, virtually no mechanical issues with the cars at all, have you? No, we haven't had any mechanical issues. Um, just I mean, finding a place to plug it in? Yeah, that definitely is the challenge, and you know we haven't had any issues of saying, "Oh boy, you know, once you get from Texas coming here, <laughs> you know, there's definitely we're definitely nervous with that." But with Electrify America, they are putting up a bunch of charging yeah. stations, and the intelligence on the car, you literally put in where you are, it calculates it and show you where these charging networks are. Yeah. Um, again, I think it's it's still very new. Sure. In, in two or three years. We're not going to have any anxieties, and you can Who see. Who else would have thought to do this except Ford? You know, uh, to, to take an electric vehicle and run it cross country, and and start with their first electric car, calling it a Mustang. Yeah, well, there's you know? that too. There's that. But <laughs> um, then look, they now they've got the Maverick truck, so they're starting wait, to pull. That now, Maverick's going to be a hybrid. I know. And its price points going to be perfect. Crazy. Yeah, so it's going to be crazy. I think they've done a great job with this styling. I, I did. they got the Mustang um, tail lights. No, it's, again. You can, you can say what you want. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Like, I used to think the Flex, the Ford Flex, should have been the Ford Fairlane. Yeah. I like that car. Yeah, um, well, but, I did too. But you know, so, don't you hate it when they, when they quit yeah. doing it? But, and but, then this is, this is the map, correct? Yep. So we started New York May 17th. Right here. We've been on the road now. Uh, 45 days. Wow. Uh, and again, as you can see, this is not the most direct route. No, no. You know, no. this is this is the journey reimagined and learning and sharing right. and educating people on this car and electrification and and this new world that's coming that's going right. to set the tone for the next hundred years. So, so we did. You know, we kind of did a little jockeying around here. Yeah. So we went down to uh, Amelia's show. The concourse there, which was awesome. We oh had my a, God. we had a GT500 on display, a new, the GT um, a GT on display, the Mach E 1400. Wow! So that was a, a wonderful show. And then what we did is we wanted to go back up to Electrify America. So so we went back up to their R and D center and met with a lot of their team, and we brought in the Mach E uh -huh. and the Model T, staged some pictures, and and Electrify America worked closely with the Mach E ton, an original you know, build and, right, and that right. whole world of it. So. so what would you say was the direct route back in the day? Was it? This, this, this down oh, this line. was yeah. the, okay. Yeah. So. 
Okay. Yep, so that was it. So can you imagine? Well, and how did they map that out? They didn't go to AAA and say, could you do me a trip, trip ticket? ticket? Yeah. <laughs> and they didn't use their cell phone and plug No, it. where's um, my, okay, let me put my GPS. But can you imagine going from here up to there? Oh, I mean, in terms of what the roads were and stuff. What time of the year was that? Do you, do you remember? Um, it was, it was uh, June. Okay, so uh, it was in the June, so they didn't go in the winter time. They went in the, like June, mid-June. Yes, uh, kind of like. And 23 days. It took them 23 days. Now, that's amazing, which 23 is, days. Again, think there's the infrastructure roads. The car does it at best 40 yeah, miles an hour. at best. Um, yeah, it's the more it's mind-boggling. So they ended up. So just one of the stories. So they ended up in Washington in the original one, and so they're you know they pull into all these small towns, and it's a it's a media wave of people, you know. Oh yeah. People on the streets come and watch it. So there they are refueling right in Washington, and sure enough, there's somebody smoking a butt as they're refueling through the the smoke down and almost burnt the car to the ground. No. So there's, there's just great stories. Um, the, the more I read on it, I just pick up little yeah, snippets yeah, 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 yeah. of what a monumental feat it was. Yeah. Um, oh, well, it's it's my, there is a there is a book I, I can't remember the name of it, but the guy started in San Francisco to Chicago, and he was the first guy to ever do it, and he went by himself with his mechanic. Yeah. And the storyline is is mind boggling. Yeah. Uh, send me an email and I'll send you that book because I, I think it would fit well within uh, this whole yeah. thing. Yeah. So it's. You know, it's. I think just it's. It's a great storyline for where yeah. Ford has been, where they're going, and yeah. the, the world of electrification. Uh, it's here. It's yeah. happening. I mean, we keep reading. You know, all these companies from from the German manufacturers to the U.S. companies saying we're going to be all electric. You know, in the next 20 years. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah it's, we might as well just bite the bullet and expect it. Yeah. You know, but as long as we can keep classic cars alive and well. Whether they be in museums or yeah. or giving you know limited driving, yeah, yeah. you know, then I then I think because you got to make both sides happy. Now, granted, once those old farts are gone, you know, yeah. then you're going to have to carry the badge. Well, but but I'm old too. I mean, there. But but so my nephew is uh, what is he now? He's just graduated high school, okay. uh, and he he's a car guy. He likes Good. cars, and he's he's been in an electric car, but he likes his GT not his. My Your. <laughs> GT350, because the no, the noise and the sound. Well, of course, I mean, and that's so, something and the smell. Um, but, you got to bring that smell in. There's but the performance about behind the wheel is still there. But oh, sure. just that smell and that sound. So, so I don't. Is it I don't not to interrupt? But is that the trailer they're towing behind them? Uh, that is being towed behind a 250. So oh, that's, okay. So okay. just what we wanted to do is when when you saw those stops, we, oh, we, we didn't want to have a big tractor trailer with that. We wanted to create, we're calling this the Recharge Lounge. Gotcha. We wanted to create an environment that's almost like a Starbucks. It's like, hey, come in, see the car, hear the story. Gotcha. We have coffee there. I was under and, the impression um, you were towing this with a Mach-E. And I'm no. going, no way would you be able to tow this with a Mach-E. I mean, Again. you can tow it, <laughs> yeah. but not cross country. Yeah, no, we could, I'm sure we could stage it up and tow it on there, but I'm not sure how far you get or what it would be rated, but we could, we yeah. could jury rate that. I want to see that, that parts, um, I want to see that service manager at yeah. Ford, yeah. that warranty. No, 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 you yeah. can't tow this thing with that. Yeah, but it, it's, you know, the, the, it will be really interesting to see in five years where a car like the Mach-E is again, our drive came, you know, how, how is it going to change the world of car service and right. what what yeah. what really can be done with the over the air updates? I mean, we know oh, yeah. there's a new, we know there's a lot to be done, but just, you know, we're our drive chains are very different. We just got the motors out there. We don't have the all the components of transmission. Yeah. So, I mean, it'll be really interesting to see us as consumers yeah. of how that impacts. Well, what think, we of, do. think of this, your skateboard. Okay, there's your batteries and your electric motors and all four wheels. Yeah. You're driving the Mach-E. And then you go, geez, you know what? I gotta go to Home Depot. You pull into your Ford store, they lift the body off, they put a pickup truck body on it, and you go to the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I nope. mean, I can see that future coming, which is a major positive, because how many times have you owned a car, but you wish you had a truck? But Not you don't wanna go out and buy a truck, you know what I mean? You, just, you gotta have you gotta well, have them both Well, there. I do, but I, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't gonna tell yeah. anybody, but no. <laughs> But you know, Robbie, this I mean, this has got to be very exciting for you. It is. I, you know, um, obviously m through the better part of my life, I race cars, and I yeah. love that challenge. I followed but, you my but, whole life. Um, but for me, it's really fun to put 
together ideas like this and events. And that's yeah. you know, we, we run a big teen driving program back in Detroit. And again, when we driving got, skills for life. Uh, well, that Ford has their own driving skills. Oh, for so life. you have one. We as one well. called Teen Street Skills, and we work very closely with Jim Graham and the guys. I know at, Jim. Jim. I yeah. interview Jimmy all the time. Um, and we can't do enough of it. It's the best thing we can and do for young drivers. And it's always booked. Every time Jim yeah. comes to San Diego, I yeah. say, "Let me know ahead of time." He says, "I can't." He yeah, goes, "Why no. not?" Because I'm already booked. It's the best thing. It, we should do it for all drivers, but we do well, it for teens. So we have that. Man after my own heart. Here's the deal: you get your driver's license. Okay, you pay your fees, then you go take one of your courses. And the government pays for your the course because what do we pay for car registration, licensing? Okay, yeah. and then you drive for a year, and then when your or whatever your license comes yeah. up, if you've had any issues, you got to go back to school. No, it's the best thing we do. Our, ours is a nonprofit, so we have some really good supporters. Wow. One of them being Ford and Ford Driving Skills for Life, sure. and just some some private individuals that realize what an important thing it is. You so, ever come to San Diego with the program? No, we just, just right now we're just in uh, right southeastern in, Michigan. Okay, right. you know we'll we'll keep growing around in Michigan, but right. you know selfishly that's where we're from. That's where we want to yeah, get yeah, back yeah. to. The more that. people know about it, yeah, you know, the better it is. And our job now is to educate and get these young kids to be able to drive. Yeah, know it. And it we take a poll at the beginning of it with the young drivers and yeah. we ask them how many, you know, how many of you want to be here. Not very many of them, but by the time it's done they're like, "Hey, this was pretty fun." Yeah, you guys yeah, are cool. and they learn something. Yeah. Um, and and truly I think that the type of stuff with you do with emergency braking and lane changes, yeah. skid cars, it's it's stuff that we've done versions of, or I've done versions for as a instructor and how sure. I made my living, sure. um, but it is it is the best thing we can do for young drivers, and as you said, one day it's going to be part of your, man there's going to be a phase of this will be part of your mandatory That's driver's ed. That's what I'm right hoping. Now, right now it's just, finance. the logistics of it just doesn't work, but it's going right. to happen. Well, That's and I think, work. you know, with, with Jim and, and uh, driving skills for life, Doug Herbert doing brakes. Yeah, Doug does it. His, Doug, Doug's program is excellent. It's um, a real, well, I don't really know a bad one. Yeah. Bondurant before he changed yeah. over. I think they're still doing a. Uh, they do it to every and Mid Ohio school. Mid Ohio, does. Skip they, they all, Barber. Yeah. You know, and that's because you're racers, and yeah. that's your way of giving back. Yeah. Because no, that's absolutely. your skill is driving. Yeah. They're not racing programs. No, but, no, no, but, no, no, no. But those are the guys. The, we're the guys that know what you can do with a car to get into yeah. trouble, but also get out of out trouble. Out of trouble. And that's that's what we're trying to do is, yeah. you know, give the kids confidence so one day when something happens in front of them, they know what, they know what a car can do. It's not everyday driving. It's, no, 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 it's no. teaching them about that emergency use of the car one day. Yeah, all right, buddy. So, see ya. You Thanks. know what, folks, that was cruising. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button, and don't go anywhere because we're gonna keep cruising down the road.